Hey right, guys, welcome to my YouTube video. Today we're going to be doing the Melee Six Puppet Callisto. Um, what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to put it on control. It gives the most damage and DPS or whatever. Most people say pummel, but no. Like, he's weak to get, he's weak to crush, even though it gives, but if you're up here, I mean, go ahead and put it on the other one, on um, non control or whatever it's called. This is my setup, full barracks, Black Dragon Heights in case he cares, stamina, super combat, three prayer potions, four uh, Saradona brews, four restores, the rest food. You're always going to need a magic longbow, because the way we're going to lure him. Rune boots with the extra defense, you can swap out your barrels gloves for like rune gloves or something. Um, I bring a ring of wealth for higher drops of blue scrolls and out, whatever. And I also bring an antidote plus plus in case uh, the spiders just happen to poison me. It does get quite annoying. Um, I bring steel arrows, you can bring rune, you can bring whatever you want. And I bring Ardoin cloak because it's got a crush bonus to it. Um, you could replace the wealth with the uh, explorer ring, 1, 2, 3, or 4, because it also gives prayer bonus. And it, you can refill your prayer with it, and it gives 20% on energy. I believe it's, it's the 4. Um, other than that, basically just standard stuff. Um, nothing too crazy. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get this safe spot going on. Um, always make sure you protect items on. Um, because Varix is a four piece set, you always want to have your protect item on, and if it doesn't seem to work, or if you end up getting smited, you're going to lose your flail, and it's only like 180k to replace it, but just make sure you have it on, because there are people that camp and a car all the time. So, let's tell you I can get this, uh, Callisto kill. I'm going to show you what tiles to mark and all that. Here we are, Anna Carl. we're going to go ahead and go east, kind of southeast where that little yellow square is down by the skull right now. The one on the hill, you're going to see there's an X. You definitely want to mark that tile because that's the tile you're going to stop at when he's in the safe spot and then you're going to run south to him. I'll show you in a minute. But you're going to want to mark this tile right here. Ignore the tiles down there. They're irrelevant right now. That's for the range safe spot in the next video. Um, you're going to want to mark the tree because that's going to be our second tile that we're going to run to. We're going to run right there behind the tree. And here's the first tile you're going to want to mark. This one you can mark any, basically, as long as it's like three squares, three or four squares up from that tree right there. Off to the um, south. So put your bow on long range, go ahead and hit him once, and then start running to the first tree at the end that we have marked. What you're going to want to do, you're going to want to stand right behind this tree until you see Callisto's pretty little face pop up. Right now, yeah, we're in multi-combat zone. That's the unfortunate thing because you cannot melee him in a single zone. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead after we see his face, we're going to run up to our little square right here on the X. Always be sure to keep your protect melee on because he can, if you have... 60 hit points or less he can one bang you and so we're gonna camp right here for four or five seconds until you see Callisto then we're going to, we're gonna go ahead and run down and make sure you run off to the western or eastern side of him or he's gonna be able to do damage to you and now you have to stay on this side or he will do damage let's go ahead and turn on piety super combat put it on spike or pummel whichever you prefer but spike is stronger and just take it to town i'll see you guys after this kill and hopefully you guys enjoy Alright, well, here we are. Glistle's about to die. I meant to tell you guys. Watch that area right here. Because level 3 scouts right there. Right there. And right here. Are where PKers are more than likely going to come from. From the ammo crawl route, I haven't seen too many coming from that way. But you are going to be weary. Like, this is a highly PK'd spot. I've died here quite a few times, actually. But there's also times you're going to get trash raggers that, I mean, once they skull up or if they're already skulled, Wait till they hit you and just take it to town with Varix because Varix will hit through the prayer and if they're just ragging or they're just shitty, you're basically going to kill them. So now that we got our Callisto kill, um, I want to thank you guys for watching my vids. I know I haven't been uploading a whole lot and uh, I'm going to try to get the, main, the range safe spot video up today. Um, I've been having issues with my audio recording. Oh, by the way, this might have been I'll test in the next video, just a little sneak peek. But I've been having issues with my, um, my audio and not wanting to record and all that, so hopefully I can get that sorted out. And once I do, I'll have the next video up for the range safe spot, and then I'll do that in August. I need to get the tick safe spot down for him, but I can get range or melee for this guy. He's actually a lot of fun to do. So... Thank you guys for watching the video. If you liked the video, go ahead and drop a like. If you don't like it, don't like it. I don't care. It's up to you. Um, 
But yeah, subscribe for more OSRS content, and I'll see you guys in the next one.